The Memorial Day rush is well underway. Millions of families on the roads, but it has not been easy. Tonight, the Carolina is now bracing for storms. And look at this in Nevada, that wall of dust swallowing a highway driver suddenly unable to see right in front of them. And we've been hearing from you at home about the hail today. This family taking pictures of their pool in New Jersey, open for the holiday weekend. Trouble is, there's something else causing a splash. And in Pennsylvania tonight, this man driving back into his neighborhood, incredible, and this is what he found, trees ripped right from the ground. ABC meteorologist Ginger Z has the forecast for the entire weekend, but first the storms already hitting hard. Coast to coast storms heading into the holiday weekend. Tonight, golf ball sized hail in Duncan, South Carolina. Colorado hit by flooding again yesterday, the third severe weather day in a row. This school bus obeying the rule, turn around, don't drown, but getting stuck in the mud, blocking the road until a tow truck pulls it out. And we're learning more about the storms that hit the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic last night. Strong winds, snapping trees. The National Weather Service surveying today, confirming tonight that the tornado near Albany, New York, was an EF3, winds as high as 140 miles per hour. And another confirmed tornado in Delaware. It lifted this mobile home right off its foundation. It literally lifted it up half the height of that tree and it was spinning like a football. Out west, a mountain of dust rolling across the New Mexico highway. Visibility falling to near zero and seven vehicles in a chain reaction crash, leaving six people dead. At the site of the charred crash, this road sign, an ominous warning. Just incredible pictures coming in tonight. Ginger back with us doing double duty for us tonight. First of all, the Carolinas, are they in the clear yet? Not yet. Still several severe thunderstorm warnings in South Carolina. I wanted to take you to the west because there are also severe thunderstorm warnings in parts of New Mexico. And this weekend, it is going to be very rainy and stormy in parts of Texas. Now, in a place like Amarillo that got over an inch yesterday, that's a good thing. They're in a deficit. We know they're in a drought. But boy, there are going to be some flash flooding issues and severe storms in Texas and New Mexico throughout the week. Weekend. It's kind of a very slow moving system here. Showers in the middle, but as we go through the weekend, Memorial Day itself, much drier and nicer in the Northeast. All right. Have a great holiday. Thank you. Great to have you.